Hey, what is up guys? Today I am going to be showing you a little bit of gameplay for The Last of Us Online and how you can be a better player. Um, so I'm just going to go through a full walkthrough. So first we're going to start off with classes. Uh, I'm only going to be showing two main things, but here we go. For my first loadout, I have the silenced rifle um, and the revolver because the revolver is the pretty much strongest pistol, but it uh, is free. I uh, go with convert training. Uh, you can go. Uh, you want to go with four because no one can see you when you're crouching when they use their hearing, and you can pretty much mix up the rest what you want with um, um, first aid training or whatever. Um, custom loadout. Uh, my next custom loadout. I have the bow, and this is um, a good choice because it's a two shot kill, uh, but it's one point cheaper than the rifle. Um, so I go that and convert training again, and I have first aid training. Um, you know, this is pretty much my uh, boosting class to get some good perks and stuff. So uh, you just want to have uh, convert training always too, and uh, with the first set you always start off with a shiv on spawn, and that's good too to always have, so you never have to be crafting that. And then I have a uh, quick revive to revive people and then healers so I can heal people and get stuff. And then with my, if I have a leftover point, I'll just put it on explosive because the most thing you're making is bombs and that's going to affect the bomb, how big it explodes and the radius. So that's always good. So let's move on to the gameplay. Okay guys, like I said, I'm going to cover every little thing I can think of during this whole thing. So as we're spawning in, you want to run directly, sprinting um, towards the first crate. And if you can, if you're on a small enough map, you want to run to the sprint to the second one. That's closest to your spawn, but if it's too big or you can't, then that's fine. And you want to craft uh, whatever you can, if possible. Alright, as you can see, I'm just crouching around here, not being seen by anything, picking up meta packs. So that's all good. I'm scavenging as much as I can, but I want you to see something here. See how the dot gets smaller when I uh, don't sway or don't like move when I'm uh, swaying? Whenever possible, you're shooting an enemy, and sometimes you die when you're going face to face, and uh, they, you clearly have the first shot, is because you're moving around and you have this bigger circle than they do. Uh, as you can see, I'm also, like I said again, crafting whatever possible I can in the early game. Because uh, I want to be able to lay traps or throw bombs uh, using my uh, listening mode, uh, which is also very important. Uh, see, like, um, he was uh, crouching for a little bit there. I wouldn't have been able to, see, or he wouldn't have been able to see me. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I think I get into a firefight with him right here. And see, he has, uh, he was moving, and I was not. I stayed crouched. Um... And I won that fight, so that's just something to keep in mind there. Alright guys, I'm about to make a mistake here, and I want to see if you can uh, visually think of what it is. I'm going to explain after. Okay, so obviously I had a couple mistakes there. First off, I sprinted, which should have never been done. I should have just waited for him to go up the stairs, and I could have shot him in the back or uh, shivved him. But I, I just charged him with a, uh, my melee weapon, which was a horrible idea. And I, I was leaning up the stairs, so he had the high ground, I, so I couldn't really do much there. But yeah, guys, don't just charge your enemy because they can see you on the mini-map. That's another reason why you need a silencer. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're the first to die or one of the few and you don't get a kill or anything, the toolboxes give you a crap load of supplies. So I don't know if that can be a strategy used there, but if you happen to die... Then there you go. And here's me using that strategy again. Uh, not moving. Keeping my uh, aim small. And using my listening mode. And now I can see that there's a couple enemies here. So I'm going to Molotov them. Go for the double kill. And I still remember that there's that guy there. So I took a little bit of a risk. 
but it, it'll be worth it. Trying not to move around as much and have my melee weapon. Uh, that's another thing. It, in the beginning of the map, if you have the melee weapon, the first thing you want to make is make it into a one kill weapon, which requires scissors and bonding. So if you have that, you are good to go in emergency situations. So just something else to uh, throw out there. Okay guys, now we're at that stage where you have some parts and you're thinking about buying stuff. Let me just say something. Don't fucking upgrade anything ever. It's a complete waste of money. Never do it. Horrible. Unless you're doing it at the start perk and the beginning of the game. Just, no, it's horrible. Don't even, no, just don't do it. The only thing you should be buying is armor like I am here. And if you really need it, ammo. And if you have a lot of it and you just want to look to fucking have a shitload of money, or ammo I mean, you go to the boxes and they give you some ammo if you're low on ammo and then you buy more ammo. So then you don't waste as much money and uh, ammo either. And then there you go. Alright, so I just want to show you the, I just want to skip to the end, kind of show you the last guy alive. He has all the stuff. When you're the last alive, get to a toolbox, gives you fucking everything you need. Um, there's a close chance. Close chance. I don't know how I didn't just die there. But here it shows uh, teammates being uh, good teammates. You know, he's still reviving me even though there's only one guy left. Probably because he needs points, but hey, I don't care. I'm happy that it revived me. So we're all just rushing in here. Um... Kind of just wanted to show you uh, a shiv kill. So I'm only sprinting when I need to. Uh, and I go for the shiv kill right there. And the game's over. So that's pretty much it. Now we're going to go to the bow. Uh, show you the bow in action. And I'm going to try to prove to you that these are the best guns. So I'll see you there. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you something here. Um, as you can see, I have one of every uh, beginning perk. I keep it that way, so just in case in emergencies, like my colony is about to die, I really need money, people are sick, uh, I have it there in just in case. Um, but otherwise, then I have extras of everything else. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Alright, I'm about to go for a shiv kill here, uh, which by the way gives you extra points, I don't know if I mentioned that, or extra parts, uh, bandaging as you can see, because of that one point, so I can get that extra uh, bandage ability, along with healer or reviver I mean. Uh, there's one shot, and there's two shots, as you can see, very powerful, two to down, three to kill, not too fast, um, or not too slow to uh, fire off. Um, and yeah and I can pick my ammo back up which is also very handy and it's a silenced uh, weapon so I'm just scavenging here this would be a good uh, point to bring up something um, if you're going for the support I guess I should call it which is pretty much the class I'm running right now you have healer you have bandager on you uh, have the bow so you're completely silenced you have a shiv you can, you're sneaky all around, you can revive people really fast. Um, you can also play um, Scavenger, which is pretty much you run around the map healing people and making stuff which will give you extra supplies and extra parts. So, yeah, that'll help you out and you just pretty much stay behind and if your teammates are willing enough, you can uh, work with them. Uh, which is also good, uh, by the way, if you have a party of friends that you're playing with so you can communicate uh, and play the game well together. But however, if you are not, they updated the game uh, just recently, I guess, because <laughs> I just got back on like couple, like yesterday or two days ago. Um, and there was an update, and now you can go without a party. There's an option to select when you go into a, a lobby 
for non-parties and parties. So if you're in non-parties, you can join people without parties. As you can see, I managed to pull out here. I don't know how that guy didn't kill me. Uh, I guess my armor just saved my life. I'm playing the scavenger, as I said, using my surroundings, using my everything. And I'm just getting freaking beat up here, but I managed to live. Um, so I'm just, like I said, playing scavenger, uh, using my environment, using cars, whatever, retreating. There my bomb goes off. I'm going to get this person from behind and execute. Um, and yeah, I just <laughs> managed to pull out all that. And uh, heal myself up, which Healer 2 gives, by the way. Uh, I think anything upgrade from Healer 1 after you can heal people, uh, you can uh, heal yourself uh, twice as fast. I don't know how I didn't see that bomb, but yeah, I didn't. <laughs> so this guy hits me, and I'm just like, oh shit. But uh, I believe I managed to kill him, or get him running at least. See, like I said, very quick to draw. Very quick. Um, and after this, I'm going to let you guys all in a little secret that will help your game play out tons. Like I said, scavenging, uh, and I finally went down there, but he doesn't see me, so, yeah. Um, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed my commentating, uh, explaining how to do this, but I'm also going to, uh, put a little secret for you guys at the end of the video, and hopefully that helps you out as well. So, here we go. Okay, guys, so basically the secret is you get, like, say, a yellow s sticky note, which is pretty much the best thing because it has a little sticky part, and it's easy to come off uh, your TV. And now you guys are like, wait, what the fuck? Okay, let me explain. So you get your TV, and you get your sticky note, and you cut out the sticky note, and you cut it out to which it's a little part, just a little tiny piece, no more than, like, an inch by an inch. And you zoom in on the game, you zoom in with your gun, and wherever your crosshairs are, you put the little sticky note. So now you have this little sticky note right in the center of your TV where your crosshairs would be. Um, pretty much. <laughs> I couldn't think of what I was going to say. Um, and then you have this little sticky note. And in-game, when you're hiding behind something and someone's out in the open or, you know, whatever, you can see over the, the little thing you're hiding behind. So you can see where they are. They can't really see you. And you know where your you know where your shot's gonna go. You know where you're aiming. So you put the aimer on them, and you just shoot. Maybe not like how it is in this picture because this guy's throwing a Molotov. But say he had his gun out, his aimer would already be on the guy, and he would get the first shot, most likely the kill. So I just want to show you with that, guys. A lot of you are probably like, "Wow, that I didn't even think of that." Or maybe a lot of you guys are like, "Okay, I'm not an idiot. I." already thought of about that but i hope i helped some of you guys out and if you stayed through the whole tutorial i am proud of you i got all my information out i i don't think i missed anything else and have a nice day